Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Oh, it's so good to be here. It's 2023, first video of 2023, early in the season. Who am I, you ask? Well, my name's Steve Christensen. I'm the self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School here, a little bit west of St. Louis, Missouri, executive director of the North American Ice Cream Association, best-selling author, few other things around the ice cream world. Look, if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's nice to have you here. We deal with all things retail, wholesale, and production of ice ice cream. So if you uh, look a familiar subscriber, you've seen our content, happy 2023. If you're new, then hey, welcome. Feel free to have a look around. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I wanted to start uh, this particular year off uh, with uh, a little bit of chit chat about food safety. Food safety. And there are a couple of things in my mind that have really kind of been sticking out to me in relation to food safety. One was just a bit of a recall on some of the, I guess, incidents, recalls, some ice cream businesses that reported listeria and had recalls of their products last year. Also, just on the back of ConeCon 2022, uh, in reviewing a lot of the um, ice creams that were submitted, and we had some people saying, hey, my coliform counts were high. How do I make better ice cream? How do I make more safe ice cream? And then finally, I sit on, I guess you could call it a think tank of food safety, ice cream and dairy safety experts from all around the country, government, colleges, manufacturers. Um, it, it's, it's a great group, all with the focus of food safety in ice cream making. So look, as it's new in the year and it's not overly busy for a lot of ice cream makers, I've got a tip for you. And here's the tip, safeicecream.org, safeicecream.org. Now, you may have heard us mention uh, this website before. It was formulated for ice cream makers, by ice cream makers, with the support of academia and government departments to basically help you make a better quality, more safe ice cream. So while the uh, season is down, you've got a bit of spare time on your hands, now would be a great time to start putting into place uh, some good steps, some manufacturing facilities, standard operating procedures on making good ice cream. And the best place to go to get all of that is safeicecream.org. The link is right down below here. It's a very easy navigatable website. Is that a word, navigatable? Anyway, we're gonna stick with it. It's hosted by the IDFA, International Dairy Foods Association, and there are all sorts of tools there. There is a planning document, uh, there is a, a national map where you can find food safety experts in your area. Uh, there are a lot of tools, there's a course there. And look, because you are such a loyal subscriber, you are a subscriber, aren't you? To the channel, there is a link down below that we're gonna put there to get free access to that food safety training. It's generally $250. Uh, so we're gonna put a link down below. When you get to the sign-in page, you put your coupon in there, it'll give it to you for free. I honestly think it's one of the best uses of your time early in the season is to get that mindset of food safety in production, in monitoring, in sourcing ingredients, in recording what you're making. Get that mentality in there nice and early in the year and make great quality ice cream. Safeicecream.org, the link is down below, as is the free coupon to that $250 course. Look, we want to promote people serving the best quality ice cream, the best tasting ice cream, and it really does all start with the mentality of making the highest possible, safest products uh, that you can. And look, we talk about a lot of these different aspects on the channel. If you go back through our videos, you'll see we've got cleaning sanitation videos and tool videos and all of these things to help but this is a great resource, so the link is down below. And while you're kind of tinkering around down below, why don't you hit subscribe uh, and why don't you leave a comment? Our goal with this channel is to help you to get into the ice cream or grow your ice cream business. So if you have any questions, uh, problems, conundrums about making ice cream, retailing ice cream, selling ice cream, marketing ice cream, packaging ice cream, scooping ice cream, layering ice cream, leave a comment down below. We'll get to your questions as soon as we possibly can. And as we always finish off with our videos, this is a big one for the first of the year. Big arm up, keep on scooping. We'll see you in the next video.